creates a vertical that a vertical core uh, <laughs> and the uh, left of the thyroid very close to the uh, trachea. So on the left side, the surgeons can find a uh, recurrent that are very close to the trachea. But in case of right side, the course is not the same. The difference is there. On the right side, the nerve analyzes on the uh, upper part of the uh, not thorax, but uh, upper part of the thorax, and it arches the right side. <laughs> And the subjugate artery is the lateral of the leg, so he has the nerve resto to take an oblique to enter into the patla So the surgeon should know this anatomy. Oh, yeah, come on. Saline, come on. The right side. Saline, come on. 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 Saline, ঠিক হয়ে যাবে কয়বার করছে ঠিক আছে ওই ইয়া যতবার করবে সাথে সাথে ইয়া খাবেন স্যালাইন খাওয়াবে না আধা লিটারের মধ্যে পুরো একটা স্যালাইন গুলাবেন ঠিক আছে আর হ্যাঁ যেভাবে তৈরি করে কমও দেবেন না বেশিও দেবেন না পানি ঠিক আছে খাওয়ান ডিউরিং Here you see on the right side, uh, sometimes uh, the, surgeon, uh, very, the distance is very few, sometimes surgeon fail to identify the nerve. But uh, you know the, the, the percentage is very uh, few, less than uh, 1%. That time the nerve is not uh, not very current. That means the nerve is arising in the, from the virus in the upper part of the nerve, not in the thorax. So that time if you find here the nerve, you will not get the nerve. So, uh, you have to enter and counter uh, this uh, situation. So, you should keep in mind that uh, on the right side, nerve may be non-recurrent. For the identification and preservation, uh, the surgeon should use some landmarks, the triangles. So, these are the important triangles, the pairs or um, radius triangle, and for the infusion artery he has to know the anatomy infusion artery is the branch of thyro cervical trunk that arises in the lower part of the neck and it uh, crosses deep to the common uh, cavity and it enters in take a take a horizontal course to enter into the thyroid gland so uh, during uh, uh, section we should find the infusion artery underneath the common cavity so if you are the common cavity and common cavity and infusion artery so we use the trachea and this is the triangle here the infusion artery make a the lowest triangle so we during operation we use this triangle is the lowest triangle it bounded by medially trachea laterally common cavity and base is formed by the infusion artery but uh, somebody is use the another triangle bears not the lowest triangle if you use the lowest triangle then nerve will be your content then the few fibrillary tissue and you will dissect and you will get the nerve but if you want to get the nerve you need to do the uh, medicular surgery bloodless surgery it is the prime need and sometimes uh, the uh, surgeon uses uh, first the common carotid and the uh, intrathyroid and he try to identify the nerve 
just uh, about below in between the inferior then the larvae of this middle boundary so it is the bare structure so if uh, users use the uh, extra from the middle boundary then it becomes the same structure so uh, during operation uh, this triangle should be keep in your mind so it is an operating uh, pressure here you see this is a bare triangle right this is this is our inferior um, artery and the recurrent nerve and common carotid so this triangle is a bare triangle and triangle for some during thyroid surgery the surgeon face uh, face to some problem in uh, hemostasis or portability uh, uh, bleeding so uh, this is the triangle known as the uh, triangle for surgery what is the triangle you see here uh, this is the triangle is bounded in the middle middle in the mid, uh, midline this is the midline over the trachea and uh, laterally it is bounded uh, by the uh, recurrent nerve and inferiorly it is bounded by the thyrothymic ligament so this area this area is a triangle of concern why it is a concern for the surgeons as you know here the inferior thyroid artery gives some branches here so during a uh, surgery the surgeon should uh, take measure uh, to uh, handling the uh, handling the, um, the minor uh, minor um, uh, blood vessels and he should uh, use the cautery cautious so this triangle is the triangle of concern otherwise you may injure the uh, recurrent nerve as well as the branches to the parathyroid artery so you should be more careful and recurrent nerve trunk it is sometimes used in some surgeon where there is a if the tumor is so big or in malignant case or um, uh, that's the standard order so if you uh, do not enter into this point right right this triangle either uh, a lorenz triangle or a bear triangle so the surgeon is in critical position so he can use another triangle that is called the uh, recurrent lorenz triangle what is that if i uh, if i place the thyroid here the here the lower pole lower pole will be the base lower pole will be the base and trachea will be the middle uh, middle boundary and retracted uh, sternocleo muscle muscle or if you do go through the uh, midline that time uh, the uh, stern muscle with the lateral boundary so this triangular area is known as the triangle of and uh, there is a triangle and it is a lower in the neck and here only there some uh, fibrofibrillary tissues there so uh, your uh, minimum uh, dissection uh, you can find out the neck in case of uh, use thyroid so now the preservation technique first we need to identify already i told then uh, in uh, nerve nerve may be uh, posterior or maybe anterior you know in between the artery and find out uh, the nerve uh, already professor botes have told us in the morning they should uh, start the uh, searching the nerve from below not from above because if you start uh, searching the nerve above the uh, common carotid uh, uh, inter what is it the inferior artery you may uh, miss uh, one branches you know the most of the time uh, recurrent nerve is uh, divided uh, below the uh, the level of uh, inferior artery so nerve should be identified below the inferior artery not above after getting the nerve we just uh, trace the nerve from inferior to superior by ligating the inferior artery to its branches in the uh, towards the gland with the preservation of branches to the uh, parathyroid and near the various ligament you know at the upper pole Uh, the nerve should be separated from the um, uh, thyroid by sharp dissection uh, uh, we should avoid the use uh, cautery as uh, the nerve is very close to the uh, thyroid gland so we should be careful and we should uh, dissect uh, sharp dissection for juniors uh, during the operation we may injure the nerve there are many uh, mechanism of nerve injury and the students are asked in the uh, exam these are the what are those mechanism right 
it may be you can strengthen the nerve or you may cut the nerve, you may strengthen the traction, more traction during a periodic surgery. Uh, respected um, uh, sir, told Ajat that the traction is uh, so uh, powerful traction. So powerful traction is very important for the uh, uh, not to injure the nerve. So you may uh, injure the nerve by traction. And sometimes the people is handling the bleeding. So sometimes uh, somebody uh, ligated it, and uh, nerve may be entered the uh, ligation. And sometimes uh, we are uh, very enthusiastic to bleeding, uh, the bleeding by using the cautery. So uh, nerve may be injured by thermal or irritating injury. So these are the mechanisms. Some conditions that um, uh, the, that predispose the nerve for higher risk of injury. That is the if you did not identify or you are not able to identify the nerve, the nerve should be um, uh, uh, falling at risk. So without identification of the nerve, you cannot do thyroid surgery. If you do it, you may injure the nerve. So identification is a key to preserve the nerve. So lack of identification uh, may injure the nerve. And sometimes you see the malignant disease. So if you do the malignant thyroid surgery, then that time you need to be careful. And if you um, dissect the neck node in the level six, that time you also keep in your mind that the nerve may be injured. So the incidence of the injury is the in the book, you know, there is a zero to six percent. And most of them are um, uh, temporary. And in a study, they show that uh, if if the surgeon is only the localized the nerve, he, he did not identify the whole nerve, only he recognized, he recognized that means the uh, localized the nerve, then there is a chance of injury is 0.9%. And he did a partial uh, dissection, the nerve incision uh, goes down, it is 0.3. And if a surgeon dissects the nerve in whole length, then the uh, injury chance becomes only 1%. So it is a big, uh, important, important issue. So you should uh, dissect the nerve in full length. Now come to the external branch of the superior laryngeal nerve. So this is the, uh, the superior laryngeal nerve usually arises from the vagus. And you see here at the level of the uh, middle of the hyoid uh, thyroid membrane, the nerve uh, divides into two. One is the internal, another is the external. The internal one goes to the uh, uh, into the laryng uh, along with the uh, superlingual vessels and external branch see here it goes down and uh, take a course uh, with the uh, superthyroid vessels and keeping uh, from lateral to medial so the relation in the upper part of the thyroid the uh, vein is uh, lateral, more lateral than artery and the nerve so for the uh, identification of sarnia the brazilian uh, thyroid surgeon they uh, made a classification already I told in the early in the morning. So they told that type 1, type 2, A and 2B. The type 1 is um, a nerve process and the 1 centimeter above the upper foot and uh, type 2, A is within the 1 centimeter and 2B is uh, through the, uh, below the gland. So type 2 is called the high-risk nerve. So you see here, this is the type 1, this is the type 2 and type 2B. So this nerve that passes above the 1 centimeter type A uh, to uh, 1. This is, it is safe nerve and uh, the chance of injury is less. But the type 2 B is underneath the uh, upper pole. So it uh, carries more risk with all if you, all the attempt you may injure the nerve. Joe Steiner already I told early in the morning. This is the Joe Steiner. This is the uh, basis formed by the step muscle and middle boundary is midline and laterally there is a superior uh, vascular and nerve crosses from uh, lateral to medial. So nerve is found in this uh, uh, flow, that is the flow is formed by the cricothyroid muscle. And the flow, cricothyroid muscle and the lower, upper part of the thyroid, in between that there is a, a, first, uh, the, uh, a vascular space. This space is known as space of ribs. So somebody take the advantage this avascular space and then easily find out the nerve. <coughs>
So what is the uh, technique of picture question of the external first? Number one is visualization. You should uh, see that now. How can you see? Either you, you can use the loop or you can microscope. Uh, microscope. But uh, loop is not the alternative of microscope. You should microscope if you try to see that. And number two is that if you do not have microscope or the loop, how can you preserve the nerve? Then you can scale it and scale it nice or the, uh, you just uh, dissect the upper pole and you individually like at the upper pole vessel individually and uh, automatically you nerve will shift. So that if you do not have this scope to use microscope or loop, you can use that technique as well. And you can, you should avoid using the cautery in the rib space or in the um, cricothyroid muscle. If you use uh, there uh, cautery, you may injure the nerve without knowing you are damaging it. So this is my specific picture already uh, early in the morning you uh, saw. Uh, uh, so this is the external branch of the uh, external branch and this is our uh, super thyroid and this is the super thyroid vein. So now come to the parathyroid. You know that already I told early in the morning parathyroid get blood supply. Actually single blood supply is the end artery. End artery means if you the ligate or uh, injure the or, or, or blood vessel or in blood vascular supply, he becomes devascularized. So uh, you should keep your mind, you never, you, you, you cannot in, uh, ligate or uh, injure the uh, blood vessel. If you uh, devascularize, the blood will not survive. And 50% only have uh, dual uh, blood supply and only 5% have multiple blood supply. So uh, you see here, the most of the uh, parathyroid get only one blood supply. So you should pay attention and you should respect the blood supply of this parathyroid. So here I take that one is here. You see here, this is the superior parathyroid and the inferior parathyroid. The position of the superior parathyroid is constant. Why? The superior parathyroid arises from the um, uh, foot pouch. Is that the, he has to travel or traverse a less distance. So the position is uh, constant. And in case of uh, inferior parathyroid, it is arising from the third pouch. So it has to traverse more distance. It may lose its position. That's what? That's what? Two minutes. The audience I have a lot of money. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Pasma. He did it a right job. Okay, thank you. So so I I I took permission from the chair uh person so I can continue. Right. So here for the juniors, sometimes juniors are very trouble during thyro surgery, the position. So the superior thyroid position is uh, perfect. It is position is more or less um, constant. But in case of inferior, the position is not constant. So if he has to travel more distance, he may miss his target point. He may uh, rest in the, uh, the superimmediate or may in the uh, uh, thymus or in the uh, deep in the neck. So that position is variable. So factor affecting the parathyroid injury, how the parathyroid gland is injured. If the surgery is uh, big or large, parathyroid injury may chance injury, the, the chance is more. And experience is important. The surgeon, the, the more the experience of the surgeon, the, the less the chance of injury of the parathyroid. And central compartment disease. Sometimes in case of <coughs> the carcinoma thyroid, we need to um, dissect the central compartment. What is the central compartment? Central compartment is in between the both carotid, in between both carotid, common carotid, and uh, superiorly it is bounded by the high output and inferiorly the middle artery. So this is the central compartment. If you dissect the central compartment, that is the pre-tracheal, paratracheal, pre-laryngeal lymph node. At that time, we may injure the parathyroid <coughs> vascular nature. So uh, in that pattern, uh, remove the parathyroid about uh, 10 to 15 percent evening experience. So the tips for preservation uh, for juniors, number one is bloodless surgery. <coughs> so if you uh, 
uh, without uh, meticulous surgery or if you uh, do uh, within a blood uh, the surgery then you cannot identify the parathyroid. So you need to identify by bloodless screening, by meticulous surgery and should preserve with uh, vascular particle. You should preserve. And number two is inferior artery should be ligated close to the uh, thyroid gland. Otherwise you may uh, injure the uh, vessel to the parathyroid. So here is a small video. There is a video here. Already I have shown in the earlier morning. This is the. Uh, this is the. Uh, yes. This is inferior artery here, and this is the. Uh, branches to the parathyroid. From inferior a branch goes to the inferior parathyroid. And here is the, uh, uh, here is the uh, lithological graphing. So, parathyroid, in case of uh, inferior parathyroid, the location is the nerve is dorsal to the uh, parathyroid is dorsal to the nerve. No, no, ventral to the uh, anterior. Sorry. Anterior. Here is the nerve. So, parathyroid is anterior or anterior to the uh, nerve and below the inferior thyroid artery. So, in case of inferior parathyroid, you can find here. Uh, in case of superior parathyroid, the uh, parathyroid is just uh, below the or posterior to the nerve. So, paraoperative identification of the parathyroid. Actually, parathyroid can be identified either by seeing the color or the position. What is the color? Usually, it is a trend or color. color. And in case of uh, younger people, the, the color may be um, uh, more, um, uh, uh, more uh, brown. But in case of um, older people, uh, the parathyroid color may become uh, pink. This is the uh, deposition of uh, fat. And during the operation, uh, in case of especially you when you give the leg dissection or leaf uh, dissection in the level six, then your parathyroid uh, may be confused with um, uh, leaf load or 